Back to another Swift tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at how you can add a UI switch to your application. And before we get started, I want to show that a UI switch is this little thing that we see here. Uh, let's see, where can we find a switch in here? Yeah, so this thing right here, um, this changes the dark mode interface, but this little uh, UI switch thing. So we're going to add this to an app, and when we switch it on, we're going to change the background color to something else. When we switch it off, we'll change it respectively. So let's get started by launching up Xcode and we're going to create a new project. We're going to select single view app. We'll give it a title of project, save it wherever you'd like. And let's close the side panel to expand our window to give ourselves some more room to work. And what we need to do is twofold. One part is add the actual switch to our storyboard the other part is create an outlet and function to handle what happens when we switch it on and off respectively so we're gonna go to our view controller and we're gonna start by well we're gonna start by deleting this and we're gonna create an outlet here and it's gonna be a var let's call it my switch so make sure you don't call it switch because in in swift like the programming language that's a keyword so call it my switch. It's a UI switch. And we're going to not only connect this outlet to our switch on the storyboard, but we're going to create a function, which is going to be an IB action. And we're going to call it, um, let's call it switch did change. And let's have a sender. And it's going to be a UI switch. Basically, every time... We're going to connect well we're going to connect this to our switch and every time the person changes the switch from on or off we're going to get um this function called and the switch gets passed in and we're going to say if switch well let me not use this or yeah sender well we can use sender we're going to say if sender is on do something else do something and that something is going to be if it's on, let's do views, background color is red. Otherwise, we're gonna say the views, background color is blue. So that's basically how we're gonna set up our view controller. Now it's important to keep in mind, it's a better practice to use the sender because when this function is called, uh, the switch that you're touching and interacting with will be sent into this function. In theory, you could use this as well because my switch is in our case, we know it's the only switch that we're going to be fussing around with. Um, but it's always good practice to use a sender. And feel free to call this whatever you want. Sender is just proper Apple naming convention, but you can call this literally like any nonsense you want. Um, just make sure you update it here. Here. So lastly, let's go to our storyboard. Let's uh, start off with a different background color just for the sake of this demo. Let's set this to, I don't know, let's do black. And let's click on this let's find a UI switch let's drag it onto our screen and let's specify some constraints so let's just center it by clicking this corner one and we're going to check both of these boxes to horizontally and vertically align in the container like so let's right click this and connect our switch rather my switch and lastly, let's drag from our action in here to this. And a little thing to note, which is different, we don't want to do touch up inside. What we want to do is value changed. These are the basic uh, events that you want to capture. Um, and a lot of people don't actually explain what these are, but these are different events. When you are connecting an action to a button or to any UI element, you want to specify to Xcode uh, on which event do we want to fire the actual action which is this function that we're connecting and we want to fire it on value changed now if we click on the switch we'll also see that there's a bunch of settings in here that we can specify um, like there we can specify if it's on by default uh, which it is let's turn it off we can specify the color the tint um, etc etc but that about does it in terms of what we need to do unless I've missed something so let's go ahead and hit command R and run this app and we're gonna see our switch in action 
So once we load up the app, we're going to get a black screen and a switch in the middle, hopefully. When we turn it on, it's red. Turn it off, it's blue. So let's go back to our code to quickly review. And let's see that a couple times. So on, red, off, blue. And the way we do that is in this function, we pass in that switch and we just do uh, sender is on. If it's on, do this, otherwise do this. And this is on property is off of the UI switch class. It's provided by Apple. So you don't need to go and write some fancy code to figure that out. And as I'm sure that you've started to notice as you're learning iOS development and going through the paces, um, a lot of this stuff is provided by Apple, and a part of it is just understanding uh, what's available to you and using it as it's meant to be used, uh, as well as kind of just Googling and looking on Apple's actual documentation on developer.apple.com, where they explain all this. So that does it. Thanks so much for watching. If you liked and enjoyed the video, found it useful, leave a like below. It helps out the video and the greater channel. Uh, a lot. Subscribe if you're new. I post daily Swift tutorials, iOS development, software development in general, uh, miscellaneous other tech stuff, and I'll catch you in the next video.